So a few days ago, I posted a picture, a bloody picture of me in the hospital. And that's because I was using a meat cutter and I was in a ferocious argument. And at the time, you know, I cut off a portion of my finger. Unfortunately, at the time, I was freaking out. I was in a panic attack and I ran towards my neighbor and asked them to drive me to the hospital, which I ended up it up in the hospital now I want to talk a bit about the hospital in Canada in Ontario and that is I sat in there with a bloody hand and a bloody shirt right for like an hour before they actually like just put me through the front door right when I was going in the lady was like you have to wait seven hours and my neighbor which is pregnant she had to wait 14 hours so anyways I'm like so if I lost my entire finger and at the time you know I I know that I didn't lose my entire finger. I know I lost a portion of my finger until this day. I don't even know how much of that portion. But let's just say that I lost my entire finger. So I'd have to sit in there <laughs> for two hours. I don't even know if my, my finger can survive for two hours. But anyways, I, I found that it was quite ridiculous. And because I was bleeding, that is why they actually let me earlier, right, within one hour, um, instead of seven hours, but they let me into a front door, only the front gate. We didn't even get to talk to the doctor until like three, four hours later. So, you know, they let me into the thing and the girl that was looking at it, I don't know what she does. She's not a doctor, right? But she put on this thing, uh, this gooey thing, right? And then wrapped around my finger, which I did not look at because it was bleeding so bad. I didn't even want to look at it. And you know, she, she packaged it with, like, cotton or something. And then she was basically like, oh, I'm I'm just going to go for out for a while or something, do something else. And, you know, what happened was that the blood started gushing out and all the goo she put on started <laughs> dripping onto the ground and dripping out of the cotton that she put on, right? So <laughs> when she came back, it was all gooey and she was surprised. And it was all red. It was pretty nasty, right? So, anyway, she had to cut that off. And I was screaming in pain already because I don't know how much I lost. But all, all I got to say is that it was it was hell. Now, she finally put on some bandage or, you know, there's some cotton stuff. And this time, instead of just allowing, you know, using tape, she's telling me to add pressure to it, which I did. Now, after that, she sent me out to sit and wait again. And then after an hour there, right? Oh, oh it, it was like the only reason why I was able to get in even f within an hour is because I was sweating and there was blood everywhere. So anyways, that, that was one hour and then I had to wait another hour and then they took me into a stretcher. And I was in the stretcher and that's where I took the photo. Now I had to wait like two or three hours, right? For them, for before the doctor came. And the, basically the doctor was like, I cut off my nerves and everything, even if it heals, he doesn't know if I will, I will get, you know, I will have like a sense of touch. So it's pretty bad. But anyways, I mean, I just want to make the video and say, you got to be very careful with knives and, you know, wear those gloves that you can't cut through. Also, you know, it's not good to have an argument during the use of those things. And especially, it's kind of like car, right? If you're driving and you're arguing, obviously you're going to have a car crash or something, right? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't work out like always, right? So if you're going to, if there is an argument and you're like cutting something, it's better to just like forget it, you know, either not cut or just go argue or something. I don't know. But the mental stress, right, that you have when you're using these things should be pretty much zero. You shouldn't have any stress at all. But if you're using one of these things and you're stressed, you know, you, you, you should just stop using it because something like this could happen. And I had two life changing events in my life. One of them was COVID where I almost died. And that took almost two years for me to heal. Right. From 2020 to 2022. That's why you notice my channels. I was just like, F it. Right. Because I was dying. Like, I care. I mean, I was bleeding internally. Right. It stopped bleeding internally so far, but, you know, and of course, the second event is this knife cutting thing where I'm just like, my finger is mu worth much more to me than, you know, putting up with 
stupid things. And I think I won't put up with stupid things anymore uh, just for my health. And I think it's a good thing to share and let others know because as you grow older, you kind of realize some things are not worth giving up for. It's kinda almost like uh, if you're going to die tomorrow, right, would you really want to go to work? And like do all these whatever things. Of course not. You know you want you want to do what you want to do. And of course the same thing with the finger. You know I kind of learned some stuff from that as well. But anyways I just wanted to make this video and share what happened. And I'm totally completely fine. Hopefully anyways. Uh, every part of my body other than my finger so far. Which I did not look at. I don't even have the guts to look at it. 